Nature knows no bounds in its ingenuity and diversity of living beings on the planet. Among the various types of animals, there are the most colorful, attractive, graceful, fluffy or simply funny species that stand out from the rest. Dangerous or harmless, miniature or huge, they are all perfect creations of evolution. Today we will look at animals that are the rarest and most beautiful representatives of their species. Lions are beautiful and graceful animals, it would seem that it is difficult to find an animal more majestic and more beautiful than the king of beasts, unless it is a white lion. For the first time, a person saw a white lion at the beginning of the 20th century. But earlier there were many legends about their existence. These are very rare animals and today there are about 300 individuals, almost all of them live in zoos and nature reserves. There is an assumption that about 20,000 years ago, in the Paleolithic era, white lions lived among the endless snows, so they acquired a snow-white color that served as a disguise during the hunt. Subsequently, as a result of global climate change on the planet, white lions began to inhabit the shrouds and steppes of hot countries. The largest number of these rare predators can be seen in the Sambon Reserve in the west of South Africa. Natural conditions have been created there for the inhabitants of the protected area. When people do not interfere in the processes of reproduction, hunting, and natural selection, white lions cannot be attributed to either a separate subspecies of lions or to albinos. They have normal eye and skin pigmentation. These individuals are found with both sky blue eyes and eyes with a golden tint. White lions, as a rule, live in family packs, prides. Mostly females are engaged in raising offspring and hunting, while males protect their territory and flock. Grown up and strengthened males, having reached the age of two to four years, leave the flock to create their own pride. Young females remain in the family. Animals hunt prey collectively, clearly distributing roles. The decisive role is assigned to lionesses, as they are faster and more mobile. The lion at this time scares the prey with a threatening roar and commands the lioness. White lions are listed in the Red Book as an endangered species. It remains only to hope that this rare amazing animal does not turn into a legend again. This incredibly beautiful moth was discovered recently in 2009. This Lepidoptera, similar to a mythical character, is known from a photograph taken by Kyrgyz zoologist Artur Anker in the Kanaima National Park in Venezuela. The butterfly has not yet been identified, but it has already become an internet sensation and has been dubbed the Venezuelan poodle moth. It is also occasionally referred to as the Venezuelan horned moth. The exact origin of such moths is unknown, they have been the object of study by entomologists for more than 10 years. However, there are a couple of suggestions regarding their closest relatives. As part of the most common version, it is generally accepted that the Venezuelan poodle moth is associated with another butterfly, the bear. They do have many similar features, such as the shape and structure of the wings, as well as similar hairiness. Experts agree that this is most likely a member of the cocoon worm family, as evidenced by a thick body with hairs and comb-like antennae. But so far there is not enough information about these beautiful creatures to determine whether this is a species described or really new. There are many different photos of other types of hairy moths on the net, for example, the silkworm, which is also mistakenly called the Venezuelan poodle moth. Probably, this is a species that is still unknown to science, and it does not have a Latin name and will not have it until at least one natural specimen is obtained and described. Imperial tamarins are amazing monkeys. This type of monkey became famous not only for its chic white mustaches, distributed in different directions, but also for an atypical social hierarchy in the flock. The leader of the pack is the oldest and most experienced female, followed by the younger females, while the males act as feeders and carriers of the cubs. The impenetrable tropical forests of South America became the home for these mischievous people. In particular, their habitat covers the northwestern part of Brazil, eastern Peru, and northern Bolivia. 
They live exclusively in trees and try to avoid open areas. Due to their miniature size, their body length is 25 centimeters, they easily move from branch to branch and can climb to the very tops of trees, where many delicious insects and fruits await them. These are not large animals, their weight is 250 to 300 grams. The main feature of the tamarind is their chic long white mustache and beard, as well as a long tail, which by the way is longer than the body. It is thanks to its luxurious mustache that this type of monkey received its imperial name. The coat covering the body has a uniform brown or dark color. Not only a chic mustache flaunts on the head, but also a small semblance of a crown. Unlike other primates, tamarinds do not have nails on their paws, but sharp and long claws that help them cling to branches. Like all small monkeys, they feed on fruits, various plants, young shoots, buds and flowers. But in addition to plant foods, their diet also contains protein foods, small insects, lizards, frogs. Do not disdain even bird eggs found on the tops of trees. Imperial tamarinds live in small flocks of no more than a dozen individuals. Each group has a certain area of 30 to 40 hectares, whose borders are well guarded. Strangers who invaded their territory are certainly expelled. But sometimes the owners can tolerate if the uninvited guests are tamarinds of other species. They stand to the last for their territory and cubs, so these monkeys are not so safe in anger. Indeed, in addition to long and sharp claws, they can use fangs of impressive size. One and a half months after the mating season, very tiny cubs are born weighing 35 grams, but already with a white beard. All care for the offspring falls on the shoulders of the fathers of the pack. They carry them on themselves and give the cub to the female only for feeding. Upon reaching the age of three months, tamarind cubs already begin to move and feed on their own. By the age of one, five, they reach maturity, but remain with the females in the group, but the males usually leave it. The life expectancy of these monkeys is about 10 to 15 years. Not a few, but these monkeys are constantly hunted by poachers who catch the little animals for sale as exotic pets. Another factor contributing to their decline is the deforestation of tropical forests. So far, their numbers are not critical, but their conservation status is already assessed as vulnerable. Caramel Crab it belongs to monotypic species, that is, it does not have closely related species. They grow up to 2 centimeters long and can camouflage themselves in bright colors to match the color of the coral in which these crabs live. The crab can be red, or it can change color to white, yellow or pink. It lives in the Indian and Pacific Oceans. The Great Barrier Reef in Eastern Australia, the world's largest coral reef, is home to this extremely rare species of crab. But global warming threatens the existence of reefs. With an increase in water temperature at least one degree above normal, the algae living in polyps die. As a result, whitish areas are formed on the colonies. Two-thirds of the reef has already been bleached. Bleaching is the process by which corals lose the symbiotic zooxanthellae algae that give the reef its vibrant colors, and the bleaching has already affected 1,500 kilometers of the reef, scientists say. Therefore, in the near future, it will most likely not be possible to see this crab in its natural conditions. Fennec is a miniature fox with huge ears, it is smaller than a domestic cat in size and its weight rarely exceeds 1.5 kilograms. The ears of this animal are the largest among predators in relation to the size of the head they reach 15 centimeters in length. The animal needs such large ears not only because it has to learn from the slightest rustle in the sand about the movement of its main prey, insects and small vertebrates, but also for better cooling of the body in the heat of the day. The largest population of these animals lives in the central Sahara, although they are found from northern Morocco to the Sinai and Arabian peninsulas. The fennec fox inhabits sandy deserts, where it prefers to stay near thickets of grass and sparse shrubs, which provide it with shelter and food. He lives in holes with a large number of secret passages that he digs himself, leads a nocturnal lifestyle. Phoenix are social animals, they live in family groups of up to 10 individuals. Clans usually consist of one married couple, their immature offspring, and possibly several older children. Sometimes several families settle together in one lair. They are very talkative, they bark, whine, grumble and howl among themselves. 
Fennec digs out most of the feed from sand and earth. Prefers to hunt alone, like all foxes. It feeds on eggs of birds and the birds themselves, small rodents, insects and plants. Its huge ears allow it to catch the slightest rustle made by its victims. It can go without water for a long time, getting liquid from meat, berries and leaves. And when there is a lot of food, hiding places with a supply of food. Phoenix have a life expectancy of about 7 to 8 years, but in captivity, where they are not threatened by predators, they can live up to 20 years of age. Well, that's all for today, thank you all for watching, if it was interesting, support the video with likes, thank you for subscribing, and take a look at what else we have prepared for you.